Hey YouTube, it's your beekeeper here. Remember the old air tank outdoor fireplace build I did three or four months ago? Yeah, you can see I've used it a lot actually. Uh, that Rust-Oleum high temperature paint didn't really hold up that well, but again, it sits out in the weather and I don't cover it or anything. I need to do an upgrade. There's a couple things that I did wrong here. I'm far from the outdoor fireplace builder. Uh, this stack is too small. This is a piece of exhaust pipe, three inch OD. It really smokes a lot, right? And um, that's, so that's the first thing, and I'll address that in a second. And the second thing is that this inch and a half, oops, that was my tape measure. This inch and a half hole here on the bottom is not enough air in. If I, uh, if I close this, try to burn it with the door closed, it, it really chokes it out. As you can tell by the different um, paint, see how this paint's nice and clean, and then this paint obviously is taking some heat. So if I were to build this again, and, and I may change this, I may not. I really don't mind having the door open when I do active burns. Um, so that one I may not change. But what I have to change is this thing. Because that just creates so much smoke. It's like running this thing with the damper mostly closed. I just really think it's choked out. So I want to increase that to at least a 4-inch stack. So I think the problem is, is that this tank is just so big, you can put so much wood in here and there's just not enough output. Right? You get pretty good air and flow here when the door is open. But this is just too, uh, it's just too small. 3-inch just isn't enough. So I wanted a 4-inch stack one that could withstand the heat because this is actually done quite well for the heat but I didn't have any pipe hanging around steel pipe that's four inch in diameter and then it dawned on me that I've got a whole two melt crates of these are out of hydro extinguishers I think I've had these for about 10 years in my hoard um, I've made mufflers out of them this is four and a quarter OD I've made mufflers out of old fire extinguishers for my little tractors I've got videos of that on my channel um, but I, and it's got, it's this is steel, right? A magnet sticks to this, so this should work. And I'm going to make the little stub up there, and then I can use um, a piece of either black pipe, like stove pipe, or I can use the galvanized piping to get it a little bit higher. But I suspect with a larger stack, it'll just burn cleaner, because this really takes a long time for the smoke to stop. And then um, you just got to keep a nice hot fire, but it's just, like I said, it's always so choked down. And you get and you get smoke coming back out the door. So I'm not really going to show the process. I'm just showing you what I did wrong. Uh, I'm going to cut this thing out. And then I'm going to take a plasma cutter, cut the hole, weld this in. I'll bring you back when I uh, when I get that in. And we'll do a test burn and see how we do. Well, that was easy. I like my plasma cutter. There's a little added structure in there from the back side of this plate. And I got a little ugly, but I think I can, uh, well, actually, no, it's probably close enough. I can bridge it. This metal's pretty thick. But yeah, that's, I gotta get a thing in there. Well, that was a splattery, icky blob. I just forgot how thick this metal was. Because we had the piece here and here, plus all the weld. Looks like I got the fire going on the inside. <laughs> I'll put this on the saw. Oh yeah. It's good. I chop this thing down and uh, weld it in. Good enough. I had to bridge some pretty ugly gaps, but it's pretty solid. Not the prettiest welds, but you see, I didn't really even clean up the rest. I just burned through everything. I didn't even take the paint off of this, because you know what? 
Don't care. They don't care. All right, let's throw some wood in this and see how we do. This stuff's pretty wet because it's been raining. It's just pallet wood. It's steaming. But look, we barely have fire and we don't have any smoke. See, we just got like, it's just coming. I don't know if you can hear it sizzling. Great, some back of alarm is going on. Yeah, that was, that was the move four inch and th that pipe right there is just set on there I'm gonna go get a um, length of four inch galvy that I can just slip over the top of that like probably a five foot length it cost eight bucks or something at Home Depot um, and then I don't have to mess with because this one's really heavy because it's like three layers thick because I just took a 10 inch duct and I rolled it down to three inch but you see there's you see the heat and there's very little smoke you hear the hissing so this is uh this is pretty wet this wood is pretty wet because we have had quite a bit of rain and um i think we're gonna call that a win we're gonna sit out here by the fire because it's like half hour or so before sunset maybe have a cold glass of apple juice. <laughs> and that's that. So I may or may not address this issue. I don't think that's correct it is, but I, don't, I really don't want to smother it out right now, but we're just gonna sit out here and chill. Oh no, yeah, see how it dropped down the flame. And like I said earlier in this video, I don't I don't mind using this stove with the door open. Because this thing really puts out a lot of heat. You can see with just this little bit of fire going right here, we're already steaming the boards. And we're not smoking. It's glorious. It's glorious. Cookies are done. Pancakes are done. Whatever. Oh yeah, these things are wet. Wet. All right, we're gonna sit here if anything exciting, like this thing blows up or something, I'll bring you back. But other than that, we're gonna end this video now. Uh, have a little fire go here for a little bit, like I said. Maybe we'll do a live stream later, no promises. But if, uh, if I did a live stream, you'd already seen it by now, because this video is gonna be a few days before I get it put together and uploaded. Anywho, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Gotta go, gotta run. stink of the fire extinguisher powder coat going but nothing out of there but heat holy why am I so stupid oh. <laughs> idiot that's not a lot of fire and back in the old days with that smaller pipe we definitely would be smoking right now so I think we're a win with this size tank this is what a 20 gallon tank I believe 18 or 20 gallon air tank four inch diameter uh, stove pipe. Any smaller, no bueno. And then we need, I need to, well, I don't really care. As I mentioned, I don't care if the door's open or not, but I know if I close it, I'm gonna gate things down. But I don't mind having it open. It's not bad at all. Puts out some really nice heat. Oh yeah, giggity. All right, now we're going for real. All right, for the second time in this video, thanks for watching. Gotta go, gotta run.